Hello, this is Claude and uh, today I'm going to do a, an unboxing of a mouse which uh, I did not intend to do it initially but I think it uh, it looks like it's going to be a pretty good mouse and uh, I, I've uh, got a couple of mouse already uh, I'm going to show that to you uh, I'm an enthusiast there so I've got the Rocat tie-in mouse right here I've got the Proteus uh, G502 um, from Logitech I've got the Corsair uh, M65 uh, RGB Pro uh, and I got a couple of other as well but I think this one here that the Steel Series Rival 300 right here I think is a winner so I wanted to do the unboxing and show that uh, that 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 mouse so like I said Steel Series Rival 300 there's a series as a 500 there's a 700 there's the other ones as well uh, this is the one that I chose based on all the reviews that I've seen, the specs that I've seen. I want an optical mouse. I use the, the mouse mostly for, you know, day to day is for business stuff. And uh, after hours, I play a lot of CSGO. And uh, the mouse that I, the mice that I have right now, I'm going to do a review of the other mice, but they just don't cut it. So uh, this is why the Steel Series here is going to be my CSGO go to mouse. So that's uh, what it is uh, Rival 300. What it says here for Windows and Mac, that's all good. You can see here it's got some little lighting there in the scroll wheel. The DPI button here. Uh, some of the specs, it's optical, one of the things that I'm looking for. Uh, Tyan that I've got, my Rocat, is my favorite mouse so far, but it's laser and it doesn't really cut it for CSGO. So optical, RGB illumination, 6500 uh, CPI, uh, good rated for 30 million clicks and 50g acceleration so that's what it says that's what it is it shows the side uh, the, the side buttons here two buttons here so let's open this baby and see what you got in there there you go it goes there let's see what we got here in the box you've got some booklet here rival 300 click start guide Plug and play and all that good stuff. Support. Little thingy here to protect the mouse in the packaging. I think it's pretty smart. So that's what it is. Put it in the side. Look at the mouse. All right, put it in the side. Let's see if there's anything in the box. Okay, Steel Series stickers. Always like the little stickers to be able to troll. So that's good. The stickers on the side as well. Nothing else in the box. It's pretty well protected in the box, huh? so you know that it's not going to get damaged during freight. So that's probably the best packaging that I've seen in a mouse. So um, this is it. So this is the mouse itself. All right. This is how it looks and feel. Actually, it's a very nice rubbery feeling. Uh, the, the material is very, very soft, and it's the rubbery thing on there. Uh, some of my, the Rocat mouse has got it, and it's, uh, it's even better than the Rocat. You really have the nice grip. Let's put it here, the grip on the side, on the rubber. It's very nice. Let's see on the, that's the DPI change button. And that's gonna be the rubber on the other side it's very grippy yeah very nice and you've got the regular uh the cable is not the braided cable that you see in all mice it's the old style rubber that's what it is this is the the tip the little steel series logo on it so when you're in the back of the computer you know which cable is which i always like that it tells you to download the software let's see on the on the undercarriage, steel series Rival 300 Black. The sensor right there. That's what it is. All right, the feet. Okay, four feet there. So what I want to show there is I'm a Palmer, and um, I really like bigger size mouse. And this one is really what I like. It's according to the reviews, look at that. And my hands are about 18 centimeters top to 
top to uh, the top of the finger all the way to the bottom here 18 by 9 more or less 910 so uh, I need the mouse I'm a, I'm a palmer my tie-on was really good but I need a mouse that where I'm gonna be able to put the whole palm on it and this is doing the job this is doing the job let's hear the clicks I'm gonna put it next to my microphone left button right button the scroll wheel and the scrolling action so that's what it is still series rival 300 looks very good and uh, hopefully I'm gonna uh, quickly install the the drivers and I'm gonna show you what it looks like all right so uh, we are going to download the software just like it says on the little cable here at the steelseries.com slash engine so uh, I'm here on the screen as well uh, steelseries.com slash engine uh, we're gonna do for Windows hopefully it's gonna be working 76 megabytes it's going pretty good one second left all right Hopefully my antivirus will let me do that. I'm just going to click on it. Unpacking data. Go for it. Next. I agree. I just hope it's not going to ask me to, you know, enter my credentials, username, create a password. I hate when these guys do that. Uh, hopefully uh, they're not going to be trolling us with that so it's going to be seamless and we'll be on our way to go uh, there you go finish all right and still series all right my gear preferences and all that all right hopefully now we can pl probably plug in the the device let's try to do that Hopefully it will recognize it. That's a good sign. Got the little logo lining up. And hopefully the uh, Steel Series Engine uh, 3 is going to recognize this. Close that. Critical update. Click here to install new firmware. All right. Firmware installation. Do not unplug your device. Yeah, of course not. I'll just let it do it. Firmware. Firmware is going to the mouse, so we are no no touchy the mousey. I'll let it go. All right, uh, update complete. Please disconnect and reconnect your device to finish the process. All right, let's do that. With my rollcat, I didn't do it like that, and I had problems. So let's listen to the software. All right. Okay. So, it's not that I have Rival 300. Let's try this. Oh, try Rocat. Oh, look at that. The Rocat's going all over the place, just going left and right. Look at that. Oh, man. It goes left and right. More or less. I see the mouse going, the little flashing there. That's weird. But look at the Rocat. It's not as precise. Oh. Rocket on the side. All right, so let's see the settings right now. All right, clicking on the Rival 300. Takes you to that setting screen. Uh, configuration 1, I've it done already. Uh, it lets you add various uh, configurations. So on here, uh, when I play CSGO, I like to uh, assign two buttons uh, for the, uh, the left buttons. Uh, I like to have one of them for crouch and one of them for reload. So uh, button four, I put it for a uh, reload. You click on it, close, click on alphanumeric, go on R because that's what you want to do to crouch. It's already uh, greened out. Uh, there's a box you would assume there would be a check mark, but uh, it's 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 just highlighted, and then uh, the little arrow as well just points to the button. It's very subtle, so you need to. Uh, to know that not very intuitive but that's what it is play once it just means that when you click once and it's gonna do it so you're gonna click on R on the side button it's gonna reload 
uh, for the button 5 for the crouch uh, I assign the left control so just uh, click on it yep you just gotta go click on, uh, click on, uh, on it button 5 you're gonna go into the uh, modifiers and then after that you're gonna scroll down a little bit you're gonna see there left control is highlighted like I said there's no check mark but it's highlighted and I chose it uh, I have it right now on toggle hold it means that when I click once it crouch and it stays crouched until you click it again and I don't like it so the way to crouch and uh, when you hold the button and then when it uh, stop crouching when you uh, release the button click on pl uh, play once when you're gonna release it's gonna stop crouching right so you click on done and after that you're gonna go save on the mouse as well all right so by saving it saves to the memory of the mouse so that's how you assign the buttons it's uh, not intuitive I had to uh, play a little bit with it but that's what it is one of the thing that I don't like uh, as well is that you only have two DPI settings uh, most uh, different mouses like the Rocat I've got uh, five different settings uh, on the Logitech you can more or less five as well and on the Corsair it's the same thing you've got about uh, five different settings all right, uh, all mouse, all mice that I have uh, have a audio or visual signal uh, that you change the DPI. Uh, on the Rocat, you got the, the audio, it's a creepy voice. When you change it, it's gonna tell you 1000 DPI, 1200 DPIs. And the faster you go, the faster the voice goes. So that's, uh, it's weird and creepy, but it's very efficient. When you play the game, you know exactly where you you put your DPI at, it tells you. So that's, uh, it's. it's very uh, useful so on the Corsair you got the colors when you change them it goes on different colors that you can set up in the software so it's it's a visual on on this steel uh, series you only have two DPI and there's nothing would be great if the wheel the scroll wheel could assign a light for it or the logo you could assign a light for a different DPI it just doesn't do it so uh, in the game sense it does something else but these two lights don't do nothing you cannot assign any visual confirmation on any of these two uh, light zones. So uh, that's a negative for me. Uh, most other mice address that and on these, it's uh, it, it's not addressed at all. So you cannot do that. So you cannot program that. So, uh, you could program different uh, configurations to kind of do it uh, and change the color in the wheel. And then when you assign the key, for the uh, DPI, then you can just switch to, switch it to change profile, but that would be difficult and kill the purpose more or less. Uh, so only two sensitivity is not good. Acceleration there, you put it at zero. Uh, yeah, you don't want to have no acceleration in your games. Angle snapping is the same thing. You don't want to have prediction, uh, so you want to leave it at the uh, off or to the left. And you've got different pulling rates as well, and uh, you've got uh, 1,000 is the is a standard so you leave it there so uh, more or less that's what is the configuration screen looks like and the sensitivity is 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 the the major downer for me not very intuitive to set the buttons that to to fight for it to uh, realize that uh, the uh, other brands is much easier in the software rocat corsair logitech and logitech being the most easy to assign the keys so uh, there it is i want to show you as well something that i think is completely useless it's the uh, game sense you click on the game sense there and uh, you will see there's no purpose there's already pre-programmed uh, popular games so you see as goes is there and then on the sensor on the lights on the scroll wheel and on the logo you can change one this one is assigned to health and then you can have green for good health to red uh, the thing is is that the guy is shooting at you you're not going to look at your mouse you're going to try to aim at his head and headshot him and you're not going to look at your mouse so that's completely useless there's no point to it same thing for the, lo the logo it's for assigned to the money and uh, i'm going to just uh, click on it and then just click on the button there and you can see it's, it's blue for health and it goes from blue all the way to red you know in game you're going to look at it and uh, when you're not in game you, you see your money in your screen so there's no point to it so uh that's that's what it is basically it's uh it's, could have done better actually so i'm turning game sense off um, just commenting again if you could do the game sense on the money and on the health why couldn't we assign uh, the the light for color for the dpis anyway so turning it off and uh, use this the library i don't know what it is and i don't need it 
So um, as you add some other stuff from sales service, you will see it there. So that's what it was. And let's do a little conclusion and summary of the pros and cons of this mouse. Some of the things that I like on this is really the rubber uh, coating. It's very comfortable, one of the best that I've had so far that I've used. Uh, another great feature is the fact that it's a larger mouse, uh, so uh, it's great for palm grip. So this is uh, pretty good. So smaller medium hand uh, might be a little bit oversized, but uh, if you palm the, uh, do a palm grip, it's gonna be a great mouse for you, okay? Uh, so let's see the other uh, positive, the optical sensors, the Pixart PMW3310. It's a great sensor, uh, so it's uh, it's accurate. It's uh, it tried and tested, so uh, it's a good thing. It gives you consistency, uh, consistency, it's accurate. So um, there might be better in the market sensor right now, but it's still a very good sensor. It does a very good job at it. So I like it quite a bit. Some of the things that I don't like the cons is the odd shape of the mouse itself. It's uh, it's wider in, in the back. It's a long thing, but the front is narrower. So it kind of, it's weird at the beginning. Uh, it becomes comfortable at some point, but it's, uh, it's a little weird when you do that. So I was hoping for a fuller grip, but it's still, you, you, get, you get used to it, all right? It's just not natural at the beginning. Uh, another con is the software. It's non-intuitive. Uh, it's very basic, yet uh, and not intuitive. So that's very weird. Another con that I said is the no visual or audio uh, confirmation of the change of the DPI. So everybody else does it, and uh, still series could uh, is lag is lagging behind on this aspect. So uh, that's something that the uh, they could improve in the future. Uh, understand it's uh, one of the basic mouse, but it, it could do better. Uh, other cons: only two DPI settings. Uh, the game sense it's useless uh, for the uh, the colors uh, for in game. You're not gonna look at it. And also one thing that I forgot to, uh, was gonna forget, the cord is rubber as well. Conclusion, overall, it's a comfortable mouse. It's got a great sensor, it's accurate, and it's gonna be deadly. So uh, overall, it's, uh, it's gonna be a good mouse for you. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it uh, helped you if you are considering looking at this uh, Rival 300 mouse. All right, thank you for uh, watching.